Uh, congratulations on the film. Oh, my goodness. Uh, fantastic. Denny, I have to ask you, I know it's kind of loosely based on something, uh, a real story, but tell me how, you know, the incarnation of you putting this, this film together. I never know where it comes from. I mean, <laughs> inspiration is the most bizarre thing. I mean, you hope it won't leave you, and you're always afraid that at some point nothing will come up. But then I started on uh, this, uh, there was this horrible uh, hold up in Montreal at noon one day yes. in the financial district, three dead, and then back the money and stuff like that. And I was fascinated by that story. So I started researching just that story, talking to policemen, to reporters, and things like that. Yeah. Then, you know, I tried to follow the money. What do you do with that kind of money? How do you there launder you it? Yep. So I got talking with lawyers and accountants and, and also so, some shady people. Some shady <laughs> people. Listen, you have to talk to some shady people. I mean, you're making a movie like that. Yes. That's the whole yeah. interest. Yeah. yeah. Escorts. Yeah. Same thing. We, we, yeah. The type of character that you never see in the media. Whenever you're talking about prostitution, about you're talking about it's poor true. girls who shoot heroin on the street and yeah. stuff like that. I don't see it. That type of person you never hear from. They're yeah. in fancy hotels, right. well, probably like this one, <laughs> on some floor, <laughs> and 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 they don't want to talk to you. They no, don't want to not. talk to you. Yeah. They don't want to talk to anybody. And they're doing. They have a fairly nice life, yeah. and that they have their agenda. They have their agenda. And and for you, when you read the script yeah. initially, what was your immediate reaction? Because you're you're not a, like you haven't done a lot, you know, films and stuff. So when you auditioned, well, I've never yeah, acted. I, acted your yeah, exactly. Yeah, Television was, So yeah. for you, this must have been like, oh my goodness, like this is amazing. <laughs> it's funny because when he when he called me the first time, I literally fell off my bed. Um, and then he said, I'll send you the script, and maybe you just read it and call me back if if you like it. And I thought it was the most surreal phone call I've ever had in my life. And I don't think anything will top that ever, unless, I don't know. Spielberg will Spielberg call calls. You, <laughs> yeah, um, he might. Yeah, I think you uh, might have an in with him. You know, you'll see. <laughs> right. uh, but then I read the script, and I instantly fell in love with Aspazi. Yeah. Um, and I thought there was a lot of, there was a lot of um, connection between her life and my life, even though I've never went through what she did. Yeah. But I knew I could create her and make her alive. And that was a conviction that I had. And I was so blessed and lucky that he believed me in, in the proposition that I did. Yeah, and it worked, and it worked. And, and you know, it brings up such a, a moral dilemma here because I was just yeah. telling the other guys, uh, just a couple weeks ago, I was in the in the grocery store. $100 bill was on the floor. What do you three do with of, it? Well, three of us looked at it. We all looked at each other and went, I don't want to pick it up. Like, we, we were nervous. I thought maybe some little old lady dropped it and I, I would feel so guilty. Yeah. So I gave it to the cashier. And she said, I said, please make sure that you give it to your boss. Like, but a $100 in retrospect isn't a, a lot of money. Like, but I would have felt million. guilty. So how do you feel about this storyline about, you know, what, what would you do? But the thing is, if you find $100, it's probably a little old lady yeah, that, dropped that just dropped it. And then you were right in giving it to the cashier. Yeah. But when it's In our drug case, money, yeah. it's $12 million. You know it's drug money. Yeah. The people concerned are all dead. It's full of dead yeah. people around. Sure. So nobody's going to claim this except yeah. maybe the mob. Do you want to give it back to the mob? No, of course not. <laughs> so okay. if anyone's going to get it, I should get it. And if you take yeah. it, yeah. what do you do with it? Right. And that's the question. And I think that that's the most interesting thing about the movie is that you question yourself, what would I do with it? Yeah. Um, and do you give it, some of it away? Yeah. To whom exactly. uh, do you keep some for yourself? Yeah. What do you do with money? It really just gives you so much to think about mm -hmm. watching this film, there's for sure. Yeah. Denis, I, I have to ask you, I mean, you've had such a good track record with, with awards and stuff. I mean, the last one won you an Oscar, amazing. Is there any pressure on you when you sit down to start writing something like this to think, how do I top myself? No, not really. Mm. No, uh, I'm too old to have any pressure. <laughs> no, but it's truly. You're not I mean, old. You're not old, no, my friend. Sorry, I'm no. very old. He's, an, he's a teenager trapped <laughs> in an old man's Maybe mind. at heart. But <laughs> the, the thing is, uh, when you're 40, when you're 50, yeah. you've got to prove yourself. Otherwise, you won't be a director for very long. Okay. And you, you know, you'll go and do some rotten TV show, and that's going to be the end of <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, that's where you have pressure. Right. At my age, I'm just enjoying myself. Good. I'm having fun. I'm still nervous because I want to make the best yeah. film possible. Of course. So, yeah. But, come on, 
I mean, I have a foot in the grave. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, so please. Not, no, no. It's true. Are you kidding? I'm going to for all. another 30 years until I'm going to interview you. And I, just, I already I, ordered another movie. <laughs> as you should. As you should. You did a great job. This is such a wonderful film. Well, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to curse you or anything, but we will see some nominations on this one. <laughs> Best work ever, honestly. It's such okay. a good really? film. And uh, congratulations to both of you. My pleasure to talk to you. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you very much.